Welcome back to Otaku no Video, as always, thank you very much for joining me for the backstory, where I'm going to explain, or the background, rather, <laughs> great start, uh, where I'm going to talk about a news story that dropped this week and explain the background. An anime technical director, Taiki Nishimura, reported on Twitter this week that he makes about $900 equivalent every month making or working on uh, any given anime series. Now, he spends about two months on each anime series, and uh, this means that he has to be working on two anime series at a time. And unfortunately, this means that he's working basically the equivalent of two full-time jobs. Um, now, well, that's why the backstory or the background is is worth explaining, because the question here is how much time he spends working on each anime series. It sounds like you know, it's definitely not an hour a day on each, right? It's definitely a lot of work on each thing, and the, the idea is that the show would be better if he could just focus on one show and get that done, but he just doesn't get paid that much. The pay is not enough. Now, Nishimura, to be clear, is not just some random guy. He's been working in the anime industry for 20 years. He's been episode director on Gundam Seed Destiny, Odd Noah Zero, School Rumble, Valrave the Liberator, Glass Fleet. He storyboarded, was one of the storyboarders on Glass Fleet, Gilgamesh, and uh, Shutsugeki Machine Robo Rescue, which I'm actually not familiar with. He's also unit director on the fifth initial D uh, series and Scry Ed. So he's, you know, he has chops out there. Um, so that is definitely worrying. So he says he makes about uh, 100,000 yen um, per anime per month on that stuff, which is uh, problematic. Um, so to be clear, he gets paid about 230,000 yen per anime, um, and that's, it takes about two months, so that's spread out over, over those two months which is just kind of problematic. Um, and this is part of a larger trend in folks in the anime industry revealing how little money gets, gets made by the staff themselves. And to be clear, this is by, this is pretty universal across the, um, you know, the anime studio in general. So, you know, the executive producer is making more money, but not that much. Like, they're not making hundreds of thousands of dollars. They're making forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000, um, as opposed to, you know, a, a year, uh, as opposed to, you know, five or ten. So this is really more confirmation that across the anime industry, wages are very low. Um, there's just no getting around it. And, you know, the... The reason is it's always been low. Uh, you know, going back to original Astro Boy, Osamu Tezuka deliberately lowballed the budget for that show so that he could out. Uh, well, for a lot of reasons, partly so he could make sure his competition couldn't you know get in under him. Um, so wages are very low, and it's one of the reasons why there's a lot of uh, burnout and a lot of turnover in the anime industry. It's actually something of a boon for non-Japanese animators, because if you have the passion and you're willing to work for nothing, you can go to Japan and they're, they want to hire, they need to hire more people. There's, it's hard to find folks who are willing to work for that little in the anime industry. So uh, we're seeing a lot more, well, I say a lot more. We are seeing significant numbers of non-Japanese animators like Bahi JD working in the anime industry now, uh, partly because of the, the supply problem. It's sad, and um, it needs to change if the industry is going to be able to attract the kind of talent it needs to make interesting, remarkable, artistic projects. You, know, you don't attract impressive people if you can't pay them, you know, if, if they can't actually make a living off what they're doing, when there are lots of other places in Japan where they can make a living doing things. A lot of folks in the anime industry have moved on to other projects. If you've noticed, there haven't been a lot of Yoko Kano soundtracks for anime recently, and it's because she's moved on to working on movies and commercials and things. That's where the money is. That's where she can afford to make a living, frankly. 
So it's sad and it's a problem. Um, if you're wondering how you can help with this, the well, one really good way is to buy anime on DVD and Blu-ray. That sends a strong message to the original staff um, indirectly through you know the licensor and through um, you know the the production committees and all of the various people involved. It is what they track to see if a show is worth making more of, right? DVD and Blu-ray sales. Watching it on Crunchyroll certainly helps. Watching it on, on Netflix if it's available there. Watching it on the official place, they check those numbers. But DVD and Blu-ray sales are a stronger indicator. So that's, it's a good way to hopefully boost those, those numbers and hopefully and try to infuse more money into the industry so we will get good people. So that is the backstory on that. I hope it's helpful. Hope you keep watching. See ya.